Hello random person, Sabnino here. Welcome to the 20th episode of Sab Talk. I know this was meant to be the video game edition of Sab Talk. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to cancel that because I don't really think what I have right now is worthy of a full-fledged video. So I've decided to make that one video game question first and just make it a regular Q&A. Also, stay until the very end, there is some news. So in a few Sab Talks ago, Amaze Games OF asked me if you could make a video game out of one of your series, which one? And which genre would it be? This is a general question, does not have to be in a vid or something, lol. For another random day, I'd either make it a 3D platformer or a 2D side-scroller to give like a full-on immersive experience. The plot for that one would just be mutant grasshoppers are invading Subnicon and it's up to Sav and his friends to stop it. Gami Amarshi would be a simple 2D side-scroller plus puzzle game where Gami Amarshi have like different abilities, maybe they're fighting like ice cream sandwich men. For you got game, anyone who's seen the short? could probably see this coming, but just make stairs a mobile app. Cringe Binge would probably be either a pick your own adventure game or one of those Grand Theft Auto type games. Pikavi says, make a gaming channel. I'm not against that idea. I just lack the equipment for it. However, if you want to see a very shitty, cringe-worthy gameplay, check out my Obstacle Odyssey playthrough. Jeremy Kessler Bowersfield, the person responsible for all this wonderful music says, Hey Sab, I got a question for yes. Describe a little of the original and modern inspiration for upcoming and soon to come things you have talked about making in previous Sab Talks. I guess the first one I should talk about is the one I'm working on right now, Cringe Binge Chronicles. That whole show actually started off with just me and my good friend Hallie throwing a party for her birthday and afterwards I just drew her a little portrait. I think what happened was Hallie on Snapchat was just like, who wants to see a cringe binge cartoon? Because her Twitter and Instagram handle is cringe binge. And I was just like, well we can brainstorm, not sure if it'd go anywhere. And she just pitched an idea of like, how about a show dedicated to my life stories? Then after a while we thought about what the cast would be. We know we want a roommate character, and we want a stoner alien. We ended up calling him Dabby because stoner jokes. Laurel was a toughie because we went through various different designs and various different names. For episode 5 of Another Random Day, Indoors, this was actually something that Jeremy pitched to me. Cause one of the things we used to do when we were neighbors was just throw around a bunch of ideas for the show. And one of his ideas, since we were trying to think of more emotional episodes was, what if there's one where Sab was trapped in his room on a rainy day and how that affects him psychologically. The original idea was gonna postpone it later, like very mid into the series. But after a while, we decided to make it episode five because of the whole pandemic. At the time, we were all in quarantine and even though things are opening up, we're still technically in quarantine, things are still shut down, and I thought it would be a good story to tell. I was gonna work on that for the major project until the Cringe Binge Chronicles happened. I was just like, what if we postpone another random day for something original? Something that you guys haven't seen before. And for Untouchable? Hard to say. I think what happened was I was just looking through some of my extras and trying to think about, are there any characters in the background that I think would be worthy of fleshing out? Or would make an interesting solo story? And this particular design stuck out to me the most. I have no idea how I thought about the whole dodgeball thing. Even though it takes place in high school, a lot of it is inspired by a lot of my college stuff. Because in college, I do my best to keep a steady grade so I can graduate. As a matter of fact, I'm kind of hard on myself in terms of it. For a while, I've been trying to get all A's, like straight A's. And when I got my first B, I was devastated. So I tried giving off sort of a similar thing. What if I tackled this issue that most students deal with of trying to pass a subject that you're not very good at? And in the case for the character Lilith in Untouchable, dodgeball or PE in general. 
And the reason why I picked PE in particular is mostly because I've never been that good with PE, and I know a lot of artists and nerdy peeps out there aren't that good at PE either. So I know it's a pretty relatable story that I'm sure a lot of people can relate to. I don't know how much I cut out, but I'm sorry if that was a little lengthy. Gion's Life says, Question, will you be doing more ARD episodes in Plotagon? Like with, if another random day was made in Plotagon, but for kids? I'm gonna be completely honest, I regret the first Plotagon video. There was no effort in it whatsoever. I literally just made a bunch of shit up on the spot. Now to unleash my very powerful. This whatever popped into my head, whether it be like a commercial or a topical reference. No, it's dead. You hungry? It's punch. Awkward, uncomfortable jokes. Oh fuck no man, you're doing all the work. <laughs> Gladly daddy. What? I have a beard. And due to the reception of the video, I think a lot of people agree. I was in the progress of a part two, and I postponed it for a single year. And I feel like if I posted it now, a lot of the jokes would be very dated. You can't say that. It's 2019. You'll have your balls castrated with a toothpick. I am Thanos. I am here to become a main character. We could be watching lasagna right now. Oh look, they leaked footage of the Sonic movie. This will be dated soon. And in terms of the for kids section, it wouldn't be for kids. I'm sorry. It doesn't make any sense for the first one to be very raunchy and offensive, while the second one is just for kids. I might experiment with the plot of guy idea eventually, but I don't think it's gonna be a direct sequel. I think the first ARD and Plotagon video is better off being forgotten. Before the video ends, I have some very exciting news. The Cringe Binge Chronicles will get a teaser trailer soon. I'm just trying to settle a date for it. If you have any other questions, please comment below, and it's all sad from here.